hello guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while oh my god i apologize guys i am so sorry for my silence oh my god so it's officially summer time and your girl is back to germany and uh, i don't even know what to say i feel like i had really i had a really nice time in nigeria i have a couple of videos i would be uploading I've just really not found the time so back to this video guys <laughs> your girl is gonna be a mom <laughs> yes so it is a pregnancy announcement I am currently 30 weeks pregnant and 10 weeks to go so <clears throat> I'm gonna be a first-time mother and I'm very happy um, sometime in the video I'm gonna show you my cute bump and what it looks like now and of course I want to apologize for not you know making this video earlier um, I guess I just wanted everything to be real I wanted everything to fall in place and as well as traveling within Nigeria I wasn't really sure what's gonna happen so now I'm back to Germany and everything is perfect your girl is in good shape and I'm glowing <laughs> Can you see that pregnancy glow guys it's amazing so <clears throat> i would be talking about my pregnancy actually i want to make this video quite short but then it's like i really want to say something like i'm really grateful to god for making me experience this journey it's something i've always looked forward to as a as a woman or as a girl <laughs> to become a mother and i guess i also you know went through my own experiences so i do have a couple of questions i will be answering um i will talk a little bit about my first trimester which is from the first week to the 14th week and i will talk about my second trimester which is from the 14th week to the 28th weeks i'm just gonna briefly tell you how i feel so let's start with the first trimester so after missing my period and whatnot um i guess my period was always you know frequent it was always stable coming at you know the same time of the month so there was never a delay with my period i guess it usually my period would even come earlier than i usually expected it so a couple of days after i missed my period i knew that i was you know something was wrong but i wasn't really sure because i was like okay let's just leave it for a couple of days more to see so and then i um ran the pregnancy test twice and it confirmed positive and that's how the first trimester began so my partner and i got me registered to with a gynecologist and guys that's when the whole drama started believe me the weeks after that so from the first week to the 14 weeks it wasn't the best of times and this was also during the winter time and like you guys know winter is not my favorite yet because i'm just i'm just a, i'm just one year and a half in germany and i'm still not used to this whole winter season <laughs> so um this time was very very weird for me i did not have quite a lot of symptoms that a lot of people have so I just had very mild you know vomiting it was you know quite mild I think from 1 to 14 weeks I probably did maybe three or four times um, I was I was quite tired I was quite fatigued um, I had also really emotional roller coaster I had huge you know <laughs> huge things you know <laughs> and um, um, I think basically that was it um, there was nothing really disturbing in the first trimester I'm so glad I wasn't bleeding in any way um, everything was just perfect oh uh, yeah I guess the, the 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 challenge I really faced was you know getting in touch with my feelings you know my emotions were all over the place I was like on one hand I was like Oh my god i'm gonna be a mother that's exciting and on the other hand i was like i'm yet to finish my study i wanted to get a job before having a kid how is everything gonna work out for me and you know it's just you know a lot of feelings you know my partner and i was you know he he really wanted this and i kind of wanted this as well 
and you know but I wasn't really 100% sure if I was ready and well to be honest there's just never a time to be ready you know and so I'm at a wonderful stage in my life I'm happy I have a nice partner um, I'm where I want to be somehow um, so I have no regrets about that but that was just basically my challenges and I, I was just an emotional wreck let's put it that way and within that first two 14 weeks I think I gained like 3 kg because I was just eating non-stop and I don't know if you can see that I have actually gained a bit of weight so that's it about my first trimester my second trimester was like heaven that was when I traveled back to Nigeria and my god I didn't even feel I was pregnant I had zero 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 um, symptoms actually I felt good I felt back to normal there was there was no emotional you know roller coaster with my hormones and stuff and I felt really comfortable I was traveling I was visiting my family that was good I was in the Sun so I cheered up a little bit um, I think what started happening in the second trimester was my pelvic pain so as soon as I started picking up weight in my belly area as soon as my stomach started getting you know bigger I started to experience pains and also um, I felt like another important thing I was struggling to find the right sleeping position so I could sometimes you know sleep on the left side or on the right hand side but then either way it was kind of disturbing because I was usually I'm used to sleeping actually on my you know you know <laughs> lay your head on the pillow and just body flat you know otherwise behind you know like I, I sleep upwards so so and this was not possible in my second trimester because um, yeah you the, the weight of the baby would actually squish your organs you know so you're either advised to sleep on the left hand side or on the right hand side so that's about my first and second trimester uh, my third trimester is just I got into my church trimester this week and I guess I'm good <laughs> I think the closer I am to birth I started to feel a bit anxious I started to feel a bit like okay how is this gonna happen <laughs> what's gonna happen <laughs> who's gonna push this baby for me <laughs> yeah but that it's just a bit of worrying um, still having um, sleeping position problems um, so basically that's about it and also I'm, I'm kind of eating too much I wouldn't say I'm eating too much but rather I just have the urge to want to eat more and so with my weight my weight has gone from the initial um, 60 kg that I was and I'm currently 72 kg guys thanks to my vacation in Nigeria I just had everything I wanted to eat so let me show you guys my bump now <laughs> this is what it looks like so this is what 30 weeks looks like from the side so the the amazing thing is my skin guys my skin during pregnancy has been glowing like i'm so grateful not to have skin problems i'm also grateful not to have like really bad pigmentation or um i haven't really noticed much stretch marks i mean i could show you guys so this is what it looks like so i haven't really noticed much stretch marks um like i said i'm now in my 30th weeks and i have 10 weeks to go and maybe who knows i'm gonna update you <laughs> if something pops up over the next couple of weeks but that's about it so let's go on to the questions um yeah i guess i've, I've actually answered the first question how many months pregnant i am so i'm currently seven months yeah they're about 30 weeks seven months pregnant um what have i enjoyed most um, during this pregnancy what have I enjoyed most actually the only thing I've enjoyed is just eating <laughs> I've just enjoyed eating and I've 
enjoy just having the feeling of something growing inside of me and you know when you feel that kicks and punches and that movement it just makes you feel like oh my god this is magical so that's what I've actually enjoyed most in this pregnancy um how do your family how did your family react to the news hmm um I guess they were a bit like they didn't see that coming you know um you know they just knew that you know i was here to study and you know i you know met somebody and we're together um but they didn't really <laughs> expect it to be too soon in terms of you know getting engaged and you know having a baby and stuff but then they were like okay that's good news you know one addition to the family is not also bad you know and so my family were happy for me are happy for me and yeah um they are yeah they are just happy for me so morning sicknesses like i said i didn't really have a lot of morning sicknesses i was throwing up maybe three or four times but that was about it um what else was morning sicknesses feeling fatigue i don't know that's about money sicknesses but that's about it um what was the best part of the first and second trimester like i said the best part was you know me visiting home you know getting sunshine you know being able to have as much food as i wanted and also like i said the second trimester was less emotional and was less you know hormonal imbalance i guess um so yeah the first trimester mm -hmm, I really don't <laughs> can't say so much positive things good things about the first trimester but that's about it um cravings what were your biggest cravings oh my god so when I was in my first trimester and I was still in Germany my cravings were just all kinds of Nigerian food like I was I was literally like sleeping and dreaming of food and it didn't matter it was more abacha <laughs> turkey fried turkey <laughs> my native food just just a couple of like suyas you know everything that I feel like you know it was impossible to even get here that was what I was really craving and um, <clears throat> And yeah that almost drove me crazy and that's why i picked up my bag and i was i went to nigeria during the second trimester so i was able to satisfy my cravings <laughs> um yeah and another thing was ice cream guys like i'm just uh, i'm just drowning in ice cream you know like um I, I i'm not gonna reveal the gender of this baby yet but from what I read, that when you are craving sweet things, you know, then obviously you're having a particular agenda. And when you're craving salty things, you're having a particular agenda. But let that be a secret to my next video. <laughs> um, the next question. Do you plan to work or be a stay-at-home mom? Um, in Germany, you are allowed to stay at home between one year and three years raising this child. I don't plan to stay at home for three years I think the maximum would be one year and during this one year I will try as much as possible to finish up my study my master thesis I will also um, get a grip on my German real good and then get back to work as soon as this baby is at least one year old <laughs> um, what is the worst part of being pregnant um, the worst part I think it's just the emotional roller coaster because I mean sometimes you feel like you're not yourself and then you just do things that are just weird I think it's important that you have an understanding partner somebody who understands that this is what you're going through and who can just be loving and sweet <laughs> I am even an emotional roller coaster when I'm not even pregnant. Talk more when I'm pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's one of the worst part of being pregnant. Um, so yeah, so what were my struggles? And I talked about my sleeping position. Um, I also had acidic taste in my mouth. So I had this metallic acidic taste always in my mouth. 
I was always tired, which I'm still tired. I mean, I just pushed myself. I wanted to really make this video because it was due. Um, and that was it. And the last question is, am I planning a baby shower? Yes, I'm planning a, a gender reveal that's going to be um, soon. But um, yeah, yeah that's just gonna be soon so stay tuned and yeah we're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have that video next so guys i'm gonna love you and leave you with a view of my nice bump again <laughs> and i so hope you enjoyed this video thank you for subscribing to my new subscribers please stay in touch um i i think that this this channel will will continue to grow I will add a bit of motherhood into my content. I will add a bit of lifestyle and daily vlog into my content as soon as this baby is here. And also, lastly, I forgot to mention that I'm going to be having an interracial baby. The father is, of course, French, German. <laughs> and so it will be a mix of, you know, <laughs> culture as well. And that would be very interesting, especially in motherhood and in travel. Um, vlogs so guys i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'm gonna see you in my next video Mwah. and then <laughs> of my bump say hello thank you guys and have a wonderful day bye